Now we come to our next panelist. We're moving from Taiwan to Hong Kong. Um, we're going to be greeted by Mike Simpson. And Mike is um, <clears throat> arrived in Hong Kong in 1984 by yacht. The, um, he's a pioneer in the Asian yachting scene. And Mike um, set up Simpson Marine in 84. And it's grow, it's bro the brokerage and service company has grown to now be having a 100 staff in 11 offices around the region. Mike is, um, has two passions in life. One is flying vintage aircraft and the other is sailing and um, boating. And Mike is um, talented. He speaks, he says, a little Mandarin. And that means that he's able to engage with a, a whole new boating community. Mike, over to you to talk about Hong Kong and uh, China. Thank you. They use a picture, almost be our cover, the Lorenzo. Mm. Mike, are we, uh, have we switched the mic on? <laughs> Turn. There. there we are, good. There we go. Yeah. The wonders of technology. Yes, the wonders of technology. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, um, you know, Paul and Nigel, uh, for giving us a very interesting background to what's uh, north of here. Um, but I want to try and introduce uh, a little bit about um, uh, super yachts in Hong Kong and yes, South China. Right. So, move to the first slide, right. So I'm going to cover this. So basically a few maps just to uh, show the context. I'm going to introduce um, viewers from further afield um, to the area so they have a, a bit of an idea of where, where these places are. Then I'll talk about um, Hong Kong mm -hmm. and uh, after that I will uh, discuss the Greater Bay area which is adjacent to Hong Kong, more of that later, and then I'm going to speak about uh, a little bit more about uh, Hainan. So here we are, this is uh, Asia to give you the, uh, the um, the, the context, as it were, of what I'm going to talk about. We've got uh, Hong Kong, as you see, adjacent to um, China, it's part of China, and you can see Hainan there. So the area inside that um, red square is the area I'm going to talk about. And just for reference, I show there as well the, uh, the distances uh, uh, to different locations in the area as the others have done with their slides. So Hong Kong is very well uh, situated. Um, in uh, for cruising for any yachts uh, going through. So anyway, here we are. This is uh, Hong Kong. Um, it's a great place for cruising, and uh, it's been quite amazing this year with the uh, with the lockdowns from uh, from COVID nineteen. Um, the the number of people who've been taking to the water, new boaters taking to the water and discovering um, what is available right on their doorsteps. Now that people can't fly away, they've been uh, forced to look around them. And uh, this is uh, one great thing. I have to say, if um, you're trying to choose a place uh, to be locked down, I can't say that it, many people would actually um, choose anything rather than no lockdown. But if you are forced to lock down, this is a great place to do it. Fantastic cruising areas, beautiful places to go and visit. And uh, you can see here there are a few um, yacht clubs and uh, marinas, and, but not many of them, I'm afraid, uh, cater for uh, super yachts and in fact uh, at the moment there's only one yacht club and that is um, in Lantau so you can see that on the map there Lantau Yacht Club that has any space for uh, for super yachts uh, visiting Hong Kong. More of that uh, later. Okay next slide. So this is just to, to give you an idea this is um, a few shots of um, Hong Kong what I've been uh, showing you there. Victoria Harbour I think everyone has a certain idea about um, you know, Hong Kong. We've got this wonderful harbour here. It's, um, as has been pointed out by some, it could be the, uh, the moniker of the East if the Hong Kong government could just recognise it and uh, help us to open up more facilities. It's a beautiful setting. And um, you have uh, a, a number of, uh, of marinas and yacht clubs. Aberdeen Marina Club, that's where my office is. Um, you can see there, we've got a little note up there saying full, no space. You can go down, you see Gold Coast Yacht Club, another very nice uh, yacht club here that does uh, have a number of berths for super yachts, full. 
I mentioned Lantau Yacht Club. There we have it. This was recently open, only open, uh, uh, I think, last year, at the end of uh, 2019. And um, anyway, it's been uh, reconfigured. It was um, a yacht club before, but they've uh, reconfigured this as a super yacht um, uh, marina, and they have uh, 38 berths available, we're told, at the latest count. Here we are again. So I'm just showing you the rest of it. So we're looking at um, uh, Club Marina Cove. This is a long established uh, marina in, uh, in Hong Kong, and they have some berths um, there for super yachts, but once again, full. Uh, then you have um, the Hong Kong Marina. Again, it's a long established uh, marina, but uh, full, no space. And then um, now at the bottom, quite interesting, you'll see Kuntong and Qingyi. Now these are not marinas, um, but these are typhoon shelters. Well, certainly a Qingyi is a typhoon shelter, but also it is um, essentially a commercial uh, shipyards, which have been taken over to some extent by, um, uh, by yachts and yacht businesses. Um, and then in uh, a Kuntong, though, is a typhoon shelter. Now, Hong Kong is in a typhoon uh, zone, and uh, we do get uh, hit quite badly sometimes, so there are a number of typhoon shelters around Hong Kong. And these were intended for, uh, for small commercial vessels to shelter during bad weather, but um, since there are no um, marina berths available, apart from in the new marina there, which I mentioned in, um, uh, in Lantau, and so therefore, the Marine Department in Hong Kong has allowed yachts to use the typhoon shelters. And here you see now a motley collection of yachts which have uh, anchored up in the typhoon shelters. No mooring blocks, but uh, people improvise it and they do manage to, um, uh, to put barges in there with heavy anchors. And uh, so this is an improvised, we can say, um, yacht mooring facility. Okay, next slide. So you can see now some of the best uh, cruising areas. There are some beautiful places to go uh, cruising, as I mentioned. Um, these are just names to you, but uh, Double Haven, um, Mears Bay, you can see beautiful beaches. There are about 260 islands uh, in Hong Kong. And so a great place to go cruising around to anchor off. And um, certainly for, for smaller boats, you can spend a long time cruising around Hong Kong and without um, exploring every creek, every beach and uh, every island. And so it's, a, it's not a bad cruising area, even for a big yacht as well to cruise around. Um, there are some nice places uh, to visit here. And uh, you can see there's Sai Kung, which is uh, the area where, where Susie hangs out most of the time. Okay, then about Hong Kong. So basically this is, uh, I put here Asia's main yachting center, but I think um, certainly that's for, uh, let's say smaller yachts. We're talking about there the, um, you know, the mainstream um, yachts. I think for yachts and yachting, uh, yacht racing and so on, it's a very, very active um, uh, yachting center. Population of uh, seven and a half million uh, people. Coastline, a lot of coastline because of a lot of islands, 465 kilometers and 263 islands. Interesting point is there are 10,000 um, odd uh, registered vessels in Hong Kong, but only about um, 4,000 uh, licensed uh, berths of various kinds. So it gives you the light of the land here. It means that uh, there are 6,000 vessels without an official home. And so people have to improvise. This is Hong Kong at the moment, so very, very short of berths. There are approximately, by our calculation, around 100 yachts over 30 meters uh, currently um, berthed in Hong Kong. So overall, you can say that the, uh, the challenges are limited berthing space, uh, limited refit and repair facilities, uh, lack of STCW qualified super yacht crew. We'll move on to the next slide. So this is uh, more detail of what's available. And you can see these are the marinas, gives you a bit of an idea about the, the total berths they have. And as you can see, once again, only Lantau Yacht Club actually has um, a berths which are available. And one interesting point as well is that the marinas that uh, are in Hong Kong uh, membership only. So it means unless you're a member, then uh, generally, uh, even if they had berths available, they would be um, reserved for members. Lantau Yacht Club, however, are up to allowing visiting yachts to come in. In fact, they, they're very happy to have visiting yachts to, to come in. Um, so once again, roughly 100 yachts over 30 meters uh, registered in Hong Kong, out of around 10,000 total registered vessels here. 
Okay, now refit um, shipyards or repair yards. Um, there's not a lot to, to offer here. Um, Hong Kong Shipyard in Qingyi, uh, that's the place I mentioned, that sort of commercial area. I showed you the photograph. Um, is the only shipyard really capable of lifting uh, large yachts here. They've got a synchro lift, a 90 meter synchro lift, and they can, they say, lift up to 3000 tons. But generally speaking, you can say in Hong Kong, there are limited repair, repair facilities for, uh, for super yachts. Next slide. Okay, the formalities for um, foreign flag super yachts. Now at the moment under COVID, uh, you can imagine that things are very difficult and uh, private commercial and commercial super yachts cannot visit Hong Kong unless the crew have Hong Kong ID cards or work visas. I'm afraid that's the, the situation at the moment. So it's extremely difficult. We have a yacht on its way at the moment, a, a, a 45 meter yacht. And um, well, for example, the crew cannot fly here to receive the yacht. So we've had to take uh, instruction from them, videos, showing them uh, you know, the whole yacht walkthrough. And uh, we've therefore had to train up our own people and uh, a local crew with local licenses um, to uh, operate the vessel when it arrives, to, com to, to commission and recommission and, uh, and operate the vessel when it arrives. And that will be uh, uh, taken round to the um, uh, to Lantau uh, Yacht Club. Anyway, once in Hong Kong, uh, super yachts are treated like commercial vessels and they're allowed to, to come in and uh, berth and uh, they're only supposed to sort of relocate if they have some uh, technical reason, they have to go to a shipyard for repair, etc. But you can get a permit to, to navigate in Hong Kong waters, and, uh, but you have to apply for that uh, on each occasion. And then um, a, a valid insurance policy, but that uh, goes without saying, that's the local rule. Uh, yachts must have a grade one Hong Kong pleasure vessel license holder on board. So in other words, you need to have someone who's got the local license on board because that is obviously someone who has the knowledge of, um, of the local rules and regulations and uh, knows, the, knows the coastline in theory. Then uh, foreign crew, they can, if they're staying here for any length of time, they can uh, commute their um, existing licenses um, and a, a certificates of competency for a, a, a local license, but they still need to take a local knowledge test. And then visiting yachts uh, can remain for basically six months in the year. Okay, now that's the end of, um, of, of Hong Kong. Um, I'm now moving on to the Greater Bay Area. Now, I should put this in context because, of course, uh, as we all know, it's been well publicized uh, recently that uh, Hong Kong is very much now part of China, um, and China is uh, very keen to integrate uh, Hong Kong and Macau, uh, the other special administrative um, region, um, into the mainland. And with this in mind, um, they've uh, developed this, uh, they have this project there, which is um, the Greater Bay Area. And this is a, a, an economic zone that's been created, which comprises uh, nine cities on the mainland and uh, Hong Kong and Macau. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the intention. So this is why I'm mentioning this because it's very much part of the future of Hong Kong. And um, I'll show you why in a moment. So there we are, a close up of, um, of where this is. You can see the, the nine cities there, as sort of mentioned, uh, those are the nine cities uh, on the mainland. And of main importance are um, Zhuhai, which is where there's a lot of shipbuilding and there are some repair and, uh, and um, possibilities for, for refit. And then you have uh, Shenzhen, uh, which is uh, a real hub. It's dynamic and um, probably the most important yachting hub in, uh, in Southern China. It's more than vibrant. It's called the Silicon Valley of, um, of the East. And uh, anyway, has quite a nice uh, cruising area as well. And as you'll see, it adjoins Hong Kong. Um, you know, the, the land, uh, what's called the new territories of Hong Kong, they extend over into uh, Shenzhen and, um, and the cruising areas of Hong Kong as well extend into Shenzhen. Of course, there's an invisible border there, but uh, it, it's a border that is policed and you need to get permission to cross the border uh, in the usual ways of clearing out and clearing in. 
Okay, so uh, now we're looking at, um, at Shenzhen. I mentioned that Shenzhen is, um, is the best sort of cruising area in this uh, Greater Bay area. It adjoins Hong Kong. And you can see there that there are a number of marinas. Now that's quite important because uh, the intention is that, um, that these, um, that, that uh, Shenzhen and the Greater Bay area will be integrated with Hong Kong and that uh, yachts which are licensed in Hong Kong uh, will be able to cruise into these areas. Now that's been um, on the drawing board, should we say, for quite some time. And at present, as I understand it, only Shenzhen Bay Marina, which you can see here, um, is able to take uh, yachts, to receive yachts, uh, and clear them into, uh, into China. So uh, if you want to go cruising in this area, then that at the moment seems to be the only place that you can actually clear into, um, into China. But uh, the reality is that you can find ways to, uh, to move yachts. We have to, we, we deliver yachts across from here into um, Shenzhen, but uh, getting clearance and get, making the arrangements is very much something that you have to work out uh, on a case by case uh, basis. Because as you can see that uh, from Shenzhen uh, Bay, um, it's quite a long way to the other area, which is the main cruising area, which is um, where you see Longchie Yacht Club, and you can see fin uh, Financial Street uh, Marina. And now, I mentioned uh, Financial Street and Longchere. They both have um, berths for, for super yachts, and uh, as does the Shenzhen Airport Marina and Shenzhen Bay Marina. So they have space. We don't have uh, very many berths apart from in, um, in Lantau. And so it's, it's interesting for us in Hong Kong that there are berths available and more marina projects uh, on the go. So for the future, this is something which is, is very important as this becomes more and more integrated as a, an integrated um, uh, economic zone. Okay, just to give you an idea then, these are the, uh, the marinas that, uh, that I'm talking about. So Longchie Yacht Club, uh, home of the China Cup. Um, the sailors, it's, uh, it's a pretty well-known um, location. And uh, this is in what's called Dyer Bay. The Dyer Bay is uh, maybe more notorious for its uh, atomic power station. But anyway, it's, a, it's actually a very nice cruising area, a very large um, a cruising ground. And uh, you have then Shenzhen Bay Marina. I mentioned that that is the, um, the, the marina which uh, can accommodate uh, yachts uh, clearing into uh, China from, uh, from Hong Kong. But in fact, um, it is, uh, and then we've got, um, so five berths available there, which is uh, obviously uh, good to know. And then you have uh, Shenzhen Airport Marina with five berths available as well. So there are berths for big yachts available across the border in, uh, in China. All right, so some of the cruising areas in Shenzhen, you see a very similar kind of coastal scenery to Hong Kong. You've got Daya Bay, you've got uh, Sai Chung and uh, Xiaoja Island. All of these in uh, basically in the uh, Dyer Bay though is the uh, is the best uh, cruising area. A number of islands there and and facilities uh, in the in the marinas. Uh, otherwise, very few facilities that you could use uh, on shore. But anyway, places to visit if you uh, intend to go cruising around that area. All right. So just in summary, then the Greater Bay Area is a special economic zone. Um, I mentioned a population of, um, of 72 million people. So it's a huge area, huge uh, mass of uh, population. And uh, the Chinese government has uh, tremendous ambitions for the development of this Greater Bay um, Area. Uh, the Shenzhen Marinas, I mentioned the four marinas with good facilities, uh, which uh, are quite adequate for, uh, for super yachts. Um, the, the Shenzhen, the Longchie, um, you've got the Visun Airport Marina, uh, Shenzhen Bay Marina, and uh, Financial Street. Um, uh, currently, as far as we can calculate, there are around uh, 10 yachts over 30 meters in Shenzhen. Uh, so uh, not many, but um, there are reasons for that. Um, as you'll see, the challenges are very high import tax. Currently, it is we've worked it out around 42% for those who want to pay it. So it's a lot of money to pay on a large yacht if you bring it into China. Um, inconsistent inter-province cruising policies. It means if you want to cruise from one part of China to another, that is, um, it's an issue. And the rules tend to be not very clear and they tend to change, uh, which makes it uh, quite difficult. I mean. Paul mentioned a bit earlier about uh, being in, in Hainan and having to be sort of um, 
home before dark. I mean, rules like this that come in that are really sort of hard to fathom out, but um, you, know, you have to be constantly sort of checking up to see what the rules are to make sure that you're up, uh, up to date and, and current with the latest rules. A, rel a relative lack of uh, qualified crew. Uh, and this is a, a problem, um, as we mentioned a bit earlier, for properly qualified, certainly STCW um, qualified crew, uh, very few, and uh, limited refit and uh, repair facilities. I will come to it. There are, in fact, a couple of uh, shipyards that can do uh, a, a refits and repairs, but I'll come to that. Anyway, Shunjun, I've mentioned, that shows you the number of berths and uh, Shunjun Bay at Longchir Financial Street and the Bison Airport all have berths available. Okay, refit. Now, Haysi, they are a shipyard that builds uh, yachts. They build uh, quite large yachts there too. And uh, they have um, the uh, ability to, to do uh, repairs and refits on, uh, on yachts uh, up to, they claim, uh, I think uh, 65 meters. Kingship as well, uh, quite well known. They've built a number of uh, uh, super yachts. It's a shipyard there uh, in Zhuhai. This photograph at the bottom, by the way, this shows Zhuhai. It's a vibrant city, and uh, both um, uh, Haysi and Kingship are in this uh, in Zhuhai. Now, Kingship also can offer uh, refits and repairs for uh, steel and aluminium yachts, also up to 60 meters. Okay, now just to give you again the uh, perspective, uh, you can see now we come on to Hainan, which Paul has already mentioned. Um, now, the intention of the, the central government is that um, they want to develop uh, yachting, or more correctly, marine tourism. This is the way they term it, and that includes um, uh, cruise ships in normal times. Um, but anyway, on the back of this, um, there is a, a tremendous uh, uh, um, uh, impact on the future growth of yachting in China possible. Because what this means is with Hainan, they're looking at, uh, they've established a free trade zone there, which means that eventually uh, yachts will be able to um, be imported into, um, into Hainan uh, without paying the customary taxes, which is obviously a, a very attractive uh, idea. So you can see where it is. And the intention of the central government is to integrate uh, eventually Hainan and this free trade zone and the developments uh, in Hainan with the Greater Bay Area and Hong Kong and Macau. So that this is, this, the intention of the central government is that Southern China uh, will become uh, an important sort of, let's say, yachting hub. And again, they're looking at encouraging overseas companies to come uh, and set up shop down in, the, in this free trade zone in Hainan and already a, a number of companies uh, have. We have our own, uh, we have already set up down there as well as part of the free trade zone. We, and of course you then get all the benefits and it includes uh, low taxation on the company. And also it does uh, include um, you know, the, the, the potential. At the moment, the rules are not 100% clear, but it, it does in, intend that um, yachts will be able to import into, um, into Hainan without uh, paying the customary taxes. Um, next one. So this is now Hainan. Now of main interest is the southern part of uh, Hainan. So Sanya is in the south part of uh, Hainan. It's mostly of interest because the, the climate is, uh, is better down there. And it's, it's quite a difference between the north and south and um, the climate is good down here. And you have uh, the beaches, the main tourist hotels and so on. I say tourist hotels, in fact, um, very high-end hotels. Uh, um, as Paul mentioned, um, uh, Sanya does attract uh, the wealthy from all over China. Um, and in fact, uh, it's a, a winter playground for them, you can say. A lot of uh, wealthy Chinese from the north, they send their families down here, they have second homes down here, uh, maybe flats, or they will stay in a, uh, they've got a nice villa down here, or they have yachts down here, they have, uh, and of course, they have a lot of um, of uh, very smart hotels. And so it's, it's a bit of a congregating place for the, uh, for the wealthy, the elite in uh, China during the, uh, during the winter months. Okay, so you can see here, you've got, um, if you see Phoenix Island there, there in the bottom left. Now that area, that part of uh, Sanya 
is really where the free trade zone is. So that uh, Phoenix Island, they're looking at actually developing uh, some sort of uh, marina there for super yachts um, at, at some point. And uh, already they're, they're saying that they can provide um, a berthing for uh, a few super yachts there in, on Phoenix Island. Already in Bisun Yacht Club, they've got a, a, a few berths. And that is um, a clear, a clear uh, for port clearance, you can, uh, you can clear in, in Bisun. And the other place is, um, is Clearwater Bay, which you can see up on the top right of, the, um, of this, uh, this, this map. And uh, the cruising areas are really uh, uh, from, uh, from the south. You've got Yalung Bay, a lot of uh, very smart hotels around there. It's a very nice area. You've got, uh, it's worth mentioning Wu Zhizhou. You'll see that um, in, a, in a second. We'll see some photographs of it. Very good diving there. So this is one of the attractions, if you like, of this coast. It's not a bad place uh, to go diving. There are plenty of nice beaches, but uh, it's a fairly exposed coastline. And um, as Paul mentioned, there is, um, there is a, um, a Navy base, which is just off Yarong Bay, which uh, does appear to be a, a strange place to put a, a, a top secret um, Navy base, but it, it is there right opposite uh, Yarong Bay. And that does, to some extent, uh, restrict uh, movement. Uh, they certainly don't like uh, yachts straying too close there. OK, so here we can see a little bit more. Um, you've got Sanyar Clearwater Bay. This is a big marina development and uh, and a big residential development too and uh, they have seven berths available for uh, for, for super yachts uh, i think um up to what size is i think up to about uh, 50 60 meters um you've got five berths available in uh, in Bisun yacht club this is right in the in downtown um of um sanya sanya town and then uh, Sanyar Serenity Marina, um, that is um, where we have an office actually at the moment in uh, Sanyar Serenity. And there they have um, 10 berths available for the super yachts. Right, cruising areas uh, off Sanyar. I mentioned uh, Wujia, um, and I think uh, you can see that, uh, that that island up in the top right hand corner there. And there's some good diving around there. Um, you've got Clearwater Bay, which I mentioned is where they have the, uh, the marina, that very nice uh, marina development, and Haichang Bay and um, uh, Yalong Bay, I mentioned, lots of nice beaches there and uh, smart hotels. So there are places uh, to visit there, but um, anyway, it's certainly worth, uh, worth a look, and uh, obviously Paul has uh, more intimate knowledge of this, having cruised there. Okay, so just in summary, um, the southernmost city of Hainan Island, this is the China Yachting Hub. Uh, it's a very small population uh, living there, but um, as I said, in the winter, it fills up and it's, uh, it just really takes off, uh, you could say from about November through till um, after Chinese New Year, roughly uh, March. Um, it is very, very busy, but for the rest of the year, it's, it's generally very quiet. And certainly the intention of the government now is to develop uh, Sanya as a year round um, business center. And that is the intention now, and a lot of uh, projects now on the go to make it a year round um, uh, resort island. At the moment, as far as we, uh, we can calculate, there are around 15 yachts over 30 meters based in Sanya, uh, Hainan. So the challenges, um, so you can see that um, the free trade zone policy is uh, not yet so fully in place. There are not that many uh, super yacht berths and uh, the clubs are members only, and um, there's a, a lack of uh, qualified uh, workers as well in most cases for doing repair work on yachts, and there are limited uh, refit and repair facilities. So this, in summary, again, is the, um, these are the, the berths available. So the refit facilities, there are some refit repair facilities there, uh, Visun, um, Tuscany, uh, this is a, a, a joint venture with uh, Visun, uh, the, uh, the marina I mentioned down there. Um, they, uh, they have uh, up to a, a hundred uh, ton lift there, but uh, there's, in other words, they can look after uh, smaller yachts up to hundred feet. Serenity Coast, they have up to 80 feet. Um, but for super yachts, there is a super yacht shipyard planned and it's pending uh, government approval at the moment um, uh, with capacity for, um, uh, for 60, I believe, um, uh, yeah, I think up to 60 meters, up to three 60 meter yachts um, for refit and repair at, um, 
uh, at any one time. And that's uh, intended in the Sanya port area. Right, so in summary, this is about the free trade uh, zone, Sanya. You can see that um, okay, it was uh, mooted in, um, in 2018 by uh, President Xi Jinping. And uh, the overall plan uh, was finally confirmed only in June of 2020. And the full implementation is planned for 2025. Uh, that means the full implementation of uh, zero tariffs, import duty, import tax, consumption taxes, and so on. Um, anyway, at the moment, yachts applying for this uh, to benefit from the scheme must apply, must register as charter operators. Uh, this is, as I mentioned, uh, in line with this uh, intention that it should be to promote marine tourism. But we, we are led to understand that, in fact, this will, uh, will be um, broadened to cover um, you know, yachts, uh, privately owned yachts as well. But uh, anyway, more of that, if you're interested, um, we, we have a lot of, of, of more sort of detailed information on that. Um, so we, we got our um, certification as uh, in the free trade zone uh, in last year. And um, our first yachts are going to be imported in there in the early part of this year. So we'll know more after we've gone through the process, but uh, we've, gone through all the certification and um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. As I mentioned, there are two ports of entry at the moment in Sanya, Visun Yacht Club and uh, Clearwater Bay Marina at the moment. Okay, so these are the uh, conclusions. Uh, it's a rather well, fast uh, run through um, this very important part of, um, of uh, Asia, which is uh, developing fast. And uh, I think you'll see why I attached, uh, if you like, to this, uh, to this summary of Hong Kong, attached to, uh, uh, to this, uh, the Greater Bay Area and Hainan, because I think they have to be seen increasingly as one area. And I think uh, certainly in the future, that is the intention of the, of, uh, the central government. And uh, so it will happen. So estimated um, that there are roughly 130 yachts above 30 meters uh, currently located in southern China, if we take uh, an account of uh, Hong Kong, uh, the Greater Bay Area, and Hainan. Um, as I mentioned, Hong Kong is the most active um, yachting center in East Asia. Sanya has big potential as a center for super yachts in the coming years. Uh, I think with the benefits that uh, are now sort of becoming apparent, um, it will attract people. And already we've uh, seen that they're, according to the authorities down there in, uh, in Sanya, um, they already have um, about 40 applications for uh, visits by super yachts during this year. So they, this is what they claim that they have already 40 uh, applications. Um, at the moment with, um, with COVID-19, I have to say that it's pretty much impossible. We had a yacht that um, we were trying to get down there for Chinese New Year. And uh, it was so complicated in the end that we just had to, to give it up. It meant effectively, we had to have uh, a Hong Kong crew that meant either a crew or with uh, either Hong Kong ID um, uh, or Hong Kong work permits and uh, work visas rather. And uh, they had to be on the yacht to take it down there. Now this foreign crew would not be allowed in. And it meant when they got there, they would have to leave the yacht and uh, there were various tests they had to do before they left. And when they got there, they would have to, um, to go ashore and do two weeks quarantine. And then uh, once they'd done their quarantine, they could come on board or we could get a local Chinese crew if we could find a qualified one to come on board and take over, provided they'd gone through um, the usual tests and checks before they went on board. Anyway, it just proved to be very, very prob problematic. And to ship a yacht directly into, um, into China um, well, is also very, very difficult uh, at the moment. Certainly for a big yacht, it's... Um, we were advised, we've tried you know, different authorities with different, um, at different times, advised not to consider shipping a big yacht directly in. Uh, it's best to sort of take it in uh, on its own bottom. But um, then as I mentioned, you've got all the problems with uh, crew at the moment. So the challenge is um, limited repair and refit uh, shipyards at the moment. I mentioned uh, you know, King Ship and uh, Hay Sea, they have some facilities there. There will be, we hope, a better facility there in Sanya in the near future, within the next two years anyway. There are a limited number of qualified yacht crew. There are plans to set up um, academies there uh, to, um, to train up um, crew who could be then qualified for a, 
um, for, for super yachts. Um, high import tax in mainland China, but well, we hope that uh, that would be mitigated by the, the new rules uh, there in, uh, in Hainan once the, um, the free trade zone is, uh, is fully effective, certainly by 2025, we're promised, and we hope before then. There are a small number of super yacht marinas, but many plans for more. I think once the um, once uh, yachts start to come into Hainan, uh, and I think that they're going to start coming in, then there are a number of projects to develop further marinas around the coast of, uh, of, of, San, of Hainan. So that's, that's the end of my, uh, my little speech. Anyway, I hope that was uh, interesting. Uh, look, one thing I would say is, just to wrap up, that um, one of the most difficult things here is actually to get clear answers from the authorities on exactly what the rules are. And you can ask uh, you know, 10 people and they'll give you um, pretty much 10 different answers. And uh, so I don't guarantee that what I've told you is 100% right, but as far as we can gather, it, it, is, uh, it is correct at the moment, but it does change uh, uh, on a regular basis. And uh, so it's always worth checking with someone who is in the area and to get the latest information before you actually set about uh, trying to, um, you know, to bring a yacht uh, into, um, into Hong Kong or into Southern China.